everyone and today we are going to make we are going to make schnitzel first thing we got to do is to preheat preheat the oven to its lowest possible setting So this is its lowest possible setting, so on to the next step. For the next step, we are going to do the coating. So first off, we are going to use, you know what, I think we should use this bowl because if we need to, if, so if we use the grabbers or these barbecue thingies, we can grab it out with some leverage and then stick it into the to, to the pot when we're ready. So first off, we are going to add a cup of bread, two cups of breadcrumbs. That's one. And that's two. Next, we're going to add three more ingredients. A teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of pepper, and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. Let's mix it up so we can blend the, so we can make the ingredients combine together. the pork chops which will turn into sh to schnitzel when once we tenderize and deep fry but we don't need to do that yet first we tenderize so for our tenderizer we're going to use the the part with the big horns or thorns whatever they're called and not this side because this side is used is used for fish and this is used for meats and other food products that's hard. So we do not need to kill it like this, we just need to let it fall. Like that. We we tenderize the meat. So it cooks faster. After your meat is tenderized and ready to go, cover them up with a container. And then put them in the fridge until they until we need it. going to pour in two cups of oil into a 12 inch skillet. 
It may look like that's too enough, too much, but that's enough. Then we're going to turn the oven on at medium heat, which this oven is for. Then we're going to go on over here, and this is where the the cooked schnitzel is going to go when dinner is served. We're going to put this in the oven so it can maintain heat. This is a cooking sheet with paper towels and a and a rack, a cooling rack. And and so my hand so my little hands don't get burnt. I'm going to put oven mitts on. And you guys should too. Because I don't want anybody saying in the chat that their fingers have been burnt. That would not be good. So this path is very, very easy. Because we're going to make the batter. For the batter, you will need a half cup of milk and three eggs. Like I said, to make the batter. You don't have to do this at, for those who are away. For those who are watching, you don't need to break up the eggs. I like to do it because this is for fun. Once your batter is finished, it's time to move on to the second last step or the third to last step. And the meat may look untenderized, but believe me, it's still tenderized. So first, you get them into your batter. Flip it around. Then into the coating. You gotta get, you gotta put the coating on. So, it's just a big hump there. You don't see any meat spots. See how the, see how the, the, uh, the breading is sticking to my fingers? That's the batter. Because it's kind of sticky, uh, the batter will hold on to the pork, to the pork. And, and so, when you grab your tongs, only for raw. You bring the tongs out of there, you shake a little bit, so all the loose, all the loose bread, so all the loose breadcrumbs are, are disattached, and then you bring, and then you bring it, you bring, you release the pork, Toward you, but not or away from you. So if it because if it goes toward you, uh, it could hurt you. So I think that's good for the tong for the pork chop. Put the, some of the breading off. Oh, once you once you hear that, it just satisfies you. 
And then, uh, once that's starting, go for the next. So, you're all ready to go. So, the pork chops are all ready to go. And deep fry. Once you hear that, this is a different set of tongs because if you mix, mix raw with baked, it, it does not taste good. So, please check on your, please, please check on your, for your schnitzel and then Whip it over. So, looks like this schnitzel is ready. And, and you guys might be wondering, uh, how am I going to get this schnitzel into the oven where the drying rack is? Well, here's your steps. And it's super simple. First, you open the oven. Grab your tongs. Bring the rack out. Get your schnitzel and let it dry. Then put it in the oven. Put the rack, put the rack back in. And close it up. Many, many minutes later, and many pork done, it's time to move the last one out of the oil and into the oven. I'm going to do that. And it's okay for your schnitzel to overlap. Well guys, here it is, the schnitzel. I like mine dark. The eggs are made with the oil after when I had deep fried the pork chops to make schnitzel. And my dad behind the camera has made or has heated up the green beans. Well, guys, I think that will do it for the day. And don't forget to like and subscribe.